Go ahead. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Page Family Homestead. Today we have a wonderful old family recipe for you out of the blue book that's all falling apart and has memories. So what we're making today is so just a small batch. It's for that extra cookie style that you need for your cookie tray. And for me to eat. And for, you love these. I know. <laughs> the kids grew up with these, they love them. So they're called Swedish Tea Rings or Thumbprint Cookie. There's so many different varieties and recipes out there, but I'm documenting this for the family. So we need to cream our <coughs> half a cup of butter and I believe it was a quarter cup yep, of brown sugar and we're just going to mix that together. Notice people how she's using the man tool. I was. It's so much better. So much <laughs> for this, easier. For this. Every tool has its place Sandy and denying it is foolish. I'm not denying it. The man tool is a useful tool. You can mix with it. You can eat with it. You can even pull something out of the drain with it. <laughs> I threw one at my brother once. There you go. Multi-purpose Multi tool. Multi-purpose tool. <laughs> Kids are whacked. <laughs> there we go. All creamed in. Then we have one egg separated. So I'm only using the yolk right now. It's going in. Social distancing. <laughs> Social distancing. You're bad. We're going to mix that in. There's no salt needed. And one cup all purpose flour. Mix that in. We have a hand mixer. <laughs> why well, do your I hand's always working pretty good. <laughs> yeah, why do I always? Do it by hand. Uh, I, I always do. The old-fashioned way is always the best. Well, when you got old arthritic hands, I could see using a mixer. It, it's not so much when you get older. It's that we're, the older you get, the cheaper you are. You don't want to use the hydro. <laughs> oh, baby, go get me the biggest, heaviest kitchen appliance I own. I'll turn that sucker on. That is not the reason. <laughs> uh, Yes, it is, folks. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna keep blending till we get that flour incorporated, and you got, you know, a cookie dough. There we go. Didn't take long at all. Now I used to make these and double and triple because. You know those old ice cream, round plastic ice cream tubs you used to be able to get with the metal handles? Yeah. I would fill those up with cookies and uh, with parchment paper between the layers. Put them in the freezer thinking, okay, I got that done. Going to make the trays and it's like, hurry up, make another batch. Everybody found them. Nothing to say. So, now we need a spoon. My hands are clean, guys. I have my white I egg. I see your wipe her nose. <laughs> I have my, my egg white, my white egg, egg white. Just lightly whip it, you know, just to blend the snot of it in with the rest of it, I guess. You know how much easier that would be with a fork? <laughs> okay, get about a teaspoon. Roll it up. Oh, I forgot the most important part. Flour? Just gently put that in there, no. <laughs> oh. We need to do our walnuts. I did some, but I'm going to need more than that. This is for rolling them in, guys. Mm. Oh. So I'm going to, we're going to stop talking that way. I can dim the volume on this for you guys.
There we go. That's all we need to do. I love this little thing. It comes in so handy. And he bought it to match my KitchenAid. Yep. That was cool. And actually, my first Harley was that color. Yes, it was. It was a pearl and a teal. Let me tell you. But it doesn't do well for dehydrating, uh, like the dehydrating powders that I make. It doesn't do well for that. So now, I like sinks <laughs> to throw all the crap in. Right? <laughs> we take our, our little ball and we roll it in the lightly whipped egg white. And Whip then we roll it with our clean hand into the chopped walnut. Hmm. You could use any nut that you like. What about coconut? Um, <sighs> no. I, I, I remember seeing something like that with coconut. Well, that's it. a different recipe. Yeah. But and, and different again, if you have peanut allergies or know somebody with peanut allergies or you don't know, <laughs> use crushed graham cracker crumbs. I was going to say, these are the perfect gift for them. No. <laughs> no. So we did that. I'm going to set it here. Okay. And we just take our thumb Oh, push. okay. That's pretty now easy. Now do you remember them? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You could put a maraschino, maraschino cherry in it. You could? We're going to use raspberry cherry. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. just saying. It just looks like... Oh, the, the ideas are endless. Yeah. Totally. That's why I said there's so many different varieties of these cookies. But these are the ones that our family grew up knowing and loving. And we'll save the thumbprint. Like I said, it's a small batch. So we did two. We'll do one more. Oh, Suki. Oh, Suki's crying. Yep. Oh, we thought we found a tick on baby Dee Dee, the black dog. So Andy rushed her to the vet this morning, and they gave us a tool to take them out if we do find any. Hi, girls. And they checked her, and no, it wasn't. I think it was a scab on her head from the do the chicken chicken pecking at her or something. Okay, so thumb, thumb. Oven is preheating to 350. By the time I get the rest of these done, the oven will be preheated. I'll bring you back. Alrighty, so I did another batch. One batch makes 12. I should have got 24. <laughs> I got 20 because I made them too big. I do that all the time. But I don't think anybody will complain. There's never such thing as a thing that's too big. 350, okay? 10 minutes. Then we're going to pull them out and I'm going to put my jam in. Any jam. Any jam that's your family favorite. Yeah, or... shaded cherries. Uh, yeah, but that's not what this is. I know. So, jam. You can use uh, apple butter. You could use raspberry jam, apple jam, strawberry jam, whatever your favorite is, okay? So, in 10 minutes, I'll bring you back and we'll fill these up. So, they've been in for five minutes. You take them out and just tap into the thumbprint again because they swell up, right? You want to have some depth in there. Then we're going to put them back in the oven and they're going to cook for, they say 15, this one kind of blew up. They say 15 minutes, but I'm going to check them in 10 because this isn't my normal oven, right? Like it's gas. <laughs> I'm not used to gas and the recipe was for my electric. <coughs> and good as gold. They're going back in the oven, and I'll check them in 10. Wow, oh, I didn't even burn myself. Love the elf glove. There we go. Okay, 10 minutes. All right, 13 minutes, and I made an executive decision and pulled. And yeah, these are bigger than what they're supposed to be. Okay, but they're still good. So, now, before they cool, <laughs> before they cool, we're gonna put the jam into the cookies. When they cool, we'll be able to stack these. 
I just used parchment in between the layers and these are so good. I just want to get the jam in them quick. And once they're in, I'll remove them and put them on my racks to cool. What do you think? Yeah, looks good. Do you want some with apple butter or do you want them all with the jam? Just with the jam. Okay. The jam's good. I'm betting with the walnut, the apple butter would be so good. Bear. So now we have enough to make some more additions to our cookie trays that are going to be leaving the house. Nice surprise for everybody. And some left over for Andy and I to share for during the Christmas holiday here. And to serve anybody who pops over. Okay, so I'm going to put these transferred onto the cooling tray and I'll bring you back when they're cool for a sample. There you go, sir. You have three cookies. Which one will I choose? I don't know. This one, the biggest one. How is the bottom? Yeah. Nicely um, toasted. Nice, Let me bring nice her toasty. in. Yeah, with these shadows. <laughs> oh. Ooh, did you drop it? <laughs> have a go, baby. Exactly the way you remembered mm. them. Mm. Hey, this cookie is part of the collaboration from our friends Tracy and Michael over at Tomorrow Day Farms. And it's part of the playlist. It's a gathering of wonderful channels getting together to share their favorite Christmas recipes. Three weeks long. Um, some are going to be cookies. Some are going to be favorite dishes. Some of them are bars. There's lots of goodies. So it's a very merry Christmas, homesteady Christmas. Is it? No. A very merry home study Christmas collaboration. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? I know. So I'm going to put the URL um, in the description of the video and the end screen. You can just click and go right to the playlist, guys. I ate the first one, but... You ate the first one? I wasn't quite sure on how it tasted. Oh, so we need <laughs> two to determine, do we? <laughs> Is three going to do it or you think two? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Toasted while on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, eh? The rest are in the freezer now. <laughs> and I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. That way you can see all our videos when they come up. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video after I'm done this. <laughs>